I'm a saxophonist, a composer, and also a konakol artist. And konakol is the Carnatic music or South Indian classical music art form of vocalizing rhythms. <laughs> bedrock of my artistic practice is the, the black American music tradition, and I, in addition to that, you know, through my compositions and in performances and improvisations, tie together all these threads of my multicultural upbringing and identity. We'll be talking about konokol and really learning the nuts and bolts of konokol and some Carnatic music rhythmic vernacular, but then we'll also be tying that into blending Carnatic music with black American music and talking about how these musics can be an expression of the striving for social justice, issues of colonialism, issues of anti-racism, and other political activism. So it's an ambitious course where we'll be really exploring a lot of ideas using rhythm and its universality kind of as the, the, uh, the jumping off point. Konakol is one of the ways in which we can speak the language of rhythm. We're all rhythmic entities as humans, and so anyone who's a human is an ideal student for this course. Musical training in a formal sense is absolutely not a requisite for this class. I have planned for at least three guest lecturers. My principal Konakol teacher is a great percussionist, a great artist named Selva Ganesh Vyanakram. I have a, another wonderful friend who's also been a clinical teacher of mine and a collaborator and a colleague by the name of B.C. Manjunath. And then I have a, a, a young collaborator that I've been working with whose name is Shivaraj Natraj. And part of his artistic practice and his artistic identity is being a konakol beatboxer. The final project will be tied in with the final concert of the student ensemble that I'll be directing. I would very much like it if, as a class, we could all together perform some konokol. And then, in addition to that, in the class, the students will have the freedom to express, kind of tie together or put a capstone on there on the work that we've done through whatever artistic or intellectual or scholarly medium is really important and, uh, and exciting to them. By the end of it, you'll be even more in touch with your innate rhythm, your innate musicality. You'll be able to perform konokol, and so you'll be able to perform compositions, analyze and understand the rhythms that you hear, and invent your own rhythms and be able to instantaneously perform them through konokol. The notion of theoretical physics and rhythm being connected somehow, or the notion of the political activism for social justice having a musical component and rhythm being a part of that music. Discovering and exploring the connections of ideas that you might never have uh, thought were connected before is another aspect of this course that I really hope people uh, will take away from it. Mm -hmm.